Hi everyone, welcome to this special day, which is November 16th, and is said to be Ekate's night. So today to honor her, I decided to do this tarot spread, okay, and also to ask her from some guidance. Now let's hear what she had to say. First question, me on this night. Or us, I should say. First card, Isis, Resurrection. Okay, maybe you've been helping others all of your life, always putting them before of you. Okay, yes, it's good to help others, but now it's time, it's a good time to take care of yourself and to put yourself first. Now, yes, you can still help others, but please put some healthy boundary and if you have to, say no, okay? Don't feel guilty about it. I know most of us will, but you have to learn to do it, okay? Take really great care of yourself. You deserve it. You matter too. Second question, shadow aspect that crosses me or us. Nuba, denial. I feel that most of us are in denial from a situation, an event, or something like that. Uh, it's not because you don't want to see it or address it or ignoring it that it will go away in fact it will get worse so now i think it would say it's a good time to face it now if you can change it do it if you can't well try to accept it or make something to try to change it okay number three the energy of Hecate. Ursuli. Prosperity. Sorry. So this one I feel that, yes, it's good to be prosper, but uh, don't do it at the expense of other. Okay? Yes, it's good to want to have stuff and to acquire stuff, but not to the point that you always want more and more and more. Just like a kid, you know, when you give them something and it will last for five minutes, let's say, and then they want more and more and more. Okay. I would say a good way also to have prosperity is to make a cleaning, you know, Take the things that you don't need and give them to a charity or something like that, okay? And this will bring prosperity to you, okay? Number four, where Ekate is helping me. Ren, abuse. Now, maybe you're feeling that either you're being abused or maybe it's you that abusing someone, okay? Now, that's not something to do. It's time, if it's you that's doing it, it's time to stop, reflect, and try to change your behavior. Now, if you're the one being abused, Maybe it's time to step up, you know, and put a stop to it, okay? So if you really need help, you can ask for Ekate, Ren, or your Didi to help you. They will do it and they will guide you on how to do that, okay? Number five, the message from Ekate. It's Papalot. 
purification. Okay. Um, this card is about, you know, uh, for example, if you've been trying to hide that you're in pain, um, that you're uh, sick, um, you have some problems, well don't okay it's time to come clean if i can say about them now i'm not telling you to you know tell everyone about it but maybe tell a friend or ask for uh, someone that can help you whether it's a professional or you know just ask for help okay they will help you with your problem okay don't try to hide it anymore because, well, it's going to make more damage instead of some good things. So by telling someone, yes, maybe it will hurt, but at least you won't be alone and you will get some help. Okay? So that's our message. Number six. Listen to learn in this cycle. Yes, Ekate, protection. Now this one, I feel that maybe someone or all of you need protection. Now by that, I mean it can be uh, from someone, it can be from a spirit, but it can also mean that um, maybe you're protecting someone too much, if I can say. And for example, doing things for them or things like that. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, yes, it's good to help and protect them. But also... Um, yes, you can protect them from far, but let them live um, their experience, okay? Be there if they need you, but look at it from far, okay? And like I said, always protect yourself. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Number seven. Um, where my strength currently lies. Abandonment. Now, this card um, means that um, maybe you feel lonely, um, maybe rejected, but don't feel like it, okay? I know it's hard, it's not pleasant, but try to use this to think and to gain strength from it, okay? Instead of, you know, taking it like um, it's not a good thing. Try to turn it around and make it work for you, okay? Yes, I know it's hard. It won't be done in just like this, but try to do that, to work it around, okay? Make it work for you. And know that you're never alone completely. As I said with the other card, if you need help, seek it. Either from a friend, a, uh, someone professional, don't be afraid. Just do it. But this can be a really great uh, strength if you know how to use it. Number eight, what remains hidden? My head, determination. Now, yes, with goes perfectly with the other card. As I said, maybe you're more de determined than you think, okay? Use this, let it come out of you. Okay, go for it. Seize the day. Um, if you have a dream, follow it. Okay, don't be afraid. Try. 
because if you don't try you may never know okay so go inside yourself and find that strength that determination okay And the last one, what must be unblocked in the next cycle? Okay, Fabnak, Envy. Now, I think that you may envy someone, okay? Whether it's for his success, um, for something he possesses, or you know, some friendship you have or something, something like that. But please don't, okay? Try to stop uh, envy that person, okay? Just, um, just go, okay? You can be, for example, as popular as that person. Uh, you can have some of the things that she has. And you know what? Maybe you have more than the person that you envy, okay? So try to take that away from you. Stop thinking about it and think about the thing that you have that others doesn't have, okay? And maybe it's someone else that envy you. So if that happens, don't worry. Let them do it, okay? Just do what you have to do. Just as long as you stay authentic and you do things um, as the best as you can. Okay? So, this is it for tonight's reading. And I hope you enjoyed it and that this message will help you. So, happy Night of Hecate everyone. El Hecate.